If, as it claims, the Bible is the Word of God, then we should expect its view of reality to fit with the reality we see around us. However, the Bible describes events and ideas that do not fit well with the clockwork deterministic universe of classical mechanics. This clockwork deterministic universe made many events in the Bible seem impossible. However, quantum mechanics eliminates this purely deterministic universe. It turns out that quantum mechanics is a good fit to the Bible. The following examples show why this is the case. Genesis 1.1 In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Exodus 20.11 For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is. Proverbs 16.4 The Lord hath made all things for himself. Hebrews 11.3 Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. The implication is that God made everything in the universe from nothing, and quantum mechanics shows this to be possible. Quantum mechanics has what are called virtual particles that pop in and out of existence all the time. Furthermore, wave-particle duality eliminates the idea of particles as solid ball-like objects because particles exhibiting their wave nature have only a quasi-existence where they are essentially every place at once. These facts alone suggest the universe could have been created out of nothing. Even the Big Bang is thought to have started with a quantum fluctuation from nothing. That is not to say that the Bible agrees with the Big Bang Theory, because it does not. But the point is that quantum mechanics supports a creation from nothing. Colossians 1.17 And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. This verse indicates that the universe is actively maintained by God, and the indeterminacy of quantum mechanics is expected with intelligent control of the universe. Now the interpretation of quantum mechanics called general intelligent design is a perfect match to this concept. According to general intelligent design, quantum mechanical waves and their collapse are the result of intelligent agents that determine the states resulting from the wave's collapse. In this case, God would be the intelligent agent behind quantum mechanical waves and their collapse. According to the Bible, Jesus Christ died on the cross to save us from our sin. This salvation comes to the individual by acceptance of God's offer as a free gift. Jesus then rose from the dead on the third day. Following his resurrection, Jesus was no longer restricted in space. He could appear at will wherever he wanted to and then disappear again. Even a locked room was not a problem. Jesus appeared to his disciples inside a locked room. He then disappeared again out of the same locked room. It turns out that quantum mechanics provides a possible scientific description of these events. A wave function can have a high probability at one point and a low or zero probability at another. If the waves swap position, then the probability would be swapped as well. A particle which is in the first position instantaneously jumps to the other position. Furthermore, if a wave function starts with a high probability outside of a locked room and a low or zero probability inside of it, if the wave function changed so that the high probability was inside the locked room and a low or zero outside of the room, then the object would suddenly appear inside the locked room. If Jesus started outside of a locked room, his body would have a wave function that starts with a high probability outside the locked room and a low or zero probability inside of it. If Jesus could change his wave function at will, not a stretch since he's God, to a high probability inside the locked room and a low or zero probability outside of it, he would suddenly appear inside the locked room. By changing his wave function back again, he would then disappear. This provides a possible scientific description of the post-resurrection appearances and disappearances of Jesus. This is just a possible description of how he could do these things. It in no way detracts from the miraculous nature of these events. The existence of both the soul and free will have come under attack by two philosophical concepts, materialism and determinism. Materialism is the theory that the only reality that exists is physical matter and that everything can be explained in terms of matter and physical phenomena, including mind, thought, feeling, consciousness, and will. Determinism is the doctrine that all events are fully determined by preceding events and conditions, including human choices and actions, such that freedom of choice is considered illusionary. Both materialism and determinism fit well with classical mechanics, but quantum mechanics refutes both ideas. 
Under quantum mechanics, the future position of a particle cannot be determined precisely. This refutes determinism. Also under quantum mechanics, particles do not have an exact position and can be everywhere at once, which refutes materialism. By refuting materialism and determinism, quantum mechanics also refutes the naturalistic view of the mind. That is, the idea that the mind is nothing but the neuron activity of the brain. Thus opening the door to two alternatives, dualism and quantum mind theory. Dualism, where the mind and brain are totally separate. Quantum mind theory, which depicts the brain as a quantum computer. Both allow for free will and the possibility of life after death. Quantum mechanics allows for a new theory of dualism, where the mind and brain are separate but connected by quantum entanglement. Thus, quantum mechanics becomes the means of mind-brain interactions. Based on this view, the mind is not limited to the brain and thus can have free will and survive the death of the brain. According to quantum mind theory, the mind results from quantum activity in the brain. It basically sees the brain as a quantum computer. Quantum indeterminacy allows for the possibility of free will, and quantum non-locality and entanglement allows for the possibility of the mind surviving the death of the brain. The point is that quantum mechanics provides for the possibility of a non-materialistic mind. So is there evidence for a quantum mechanical aspect to the brain? The answer to this question is yes. It is found in the synaptic activity of the brain. The calcium ions that trigger exocytosis need to cross a barrier to the synaptic vessel. However, the calcium ions cannot classically cross this barrier. As a result, quantum tunneling is needed for the calcium ions to cross the barrier. However, the odds of this occurring are 1 in 10 million. However, the functioning of the brain requires this quantum tunneling to occur on demand. The only way to get the needed quantum tunneling on demand is for the mind to be able to control quantum events. This means that the mind must be a result of more than synaptic activity. As a result, there needs to be an immaterial aspect to the mind that does not depend on the brain that controls this quantum tunneling. As a result, quantum mechanics shows the biblical view of man is possible. It allows for the possibility of free will, and it allows for the possibility of an eternal soul. The point is that quantum mechanics allows for possibilities that classical mechanics does not. Consider what a being with total control of quantum phenomena could do. Such a being would literally be capable of miracles. For over 200 years, the idea of miracles has been criticized. However, quantum mechanics shows how miracles could be possible. It is actually a powerful support of the truth of the Bible.